Begin by opening the trunk to gain access to the battery. Lift up the trunk liner in order to locate the battery. Using a 10 mm socket or wrench, loosen and disconnect the negative battery connection. Set it aside so it won't come into contact with the terminal accidentally. Let the car sit for about 30 seconds to ensure any residual charge has been dissipated. In the engine bay, remove the plastic engine cover. The cover is held on by a few clips that will disconnect if you lift straight up on all four corners. The Stage 1 plug and play harness intercepts two factory sensors, the T-MAP sensor and the MAP sensor. The Stage 1 harness has two connectors. One is rainbow colored and will be plugged into T-MAP sensor. One is brown in color and will be plugged into the MAP sensor. Let's start by locating the T-MAP sensor. It's located on the driver's side of the engine on the charge pipe leading to the throttle body. may help to use a small flathead screwdriver to release the connector. Disconnect the T-MAP sensor and plug it into the rainbow connector of the plug and play harness male and female connectors. Next, let's locate the MAP sensor. The MAP sensor is located on the top of the engine towards the back of the engine bay. It is hidden under some engine insulation foam. Disconnect the MAP sensor. Again, using a flathead screwdriver will help releasing the harness. And plug it into the brown connector of the plug and play harness male and female connectors. Once both connectors are in place, you'll need to mount the control box. An easily accessible place to mount it is on the passenger side under the cow cover. This cover is held on with three 10mm plastic bolts. With a few zip ties, you can mount the control box to the strut brace. The plug and play install is now complete. Reinstall the cow cover, engine cover, and reconnect the battery.